We pray for our leadership, our president, and we pray for our country that we will continue to prosper and, and to grow. Bob Yunan Wei came to the Rose Garden to give away millions of dollars worth of food from his third generation family company. But his good deed turned into a nightmare when he praised the president. We're all truly blessed at the same time to have a leader like President Trump, who is a builder. And the boycott was on. Former presidential candidate Julian Castro tweeting, Bob Yunanwe is praising a president who villainizes and maliciously attacks Latinos for political gain. Americans should think twice before buying their products. Goy away. Oh, look, it's the sound of me Googling how to make your own adabo, wrote Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, referring to one of Goya's products. A shame, model Chrissy Teigen wrote, don't care how good the beans taste, though. Bye-bye. Goya Foods official Twitter account responded, Goya continues to work for the prosperity and education of our country. Goya gives 2 million pounds of food to food banks across the nation who are in desperate need of food for families impacted by COVID-19. Yunanwe says there's a double standard, pointing out no one cared when he answered the call from Michelle Obama to help with her healthy meals program. I'm not apologizing for uh, saying and especially if you're called by the president of the United States, you're going to say, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy. No, thank you. I didn't say that to the Obamas, and I didn't say that to President Trump. Tony Katz, also, as we can tell from his pantry behind him, a noted Goya Foods enthusiast. Uh, you got to have unbelievable respect for the CEO yeah. here, because the way you defeat cancel culture is by not bowing down. And to hear Julian Castro, the former HUD secretary, say, you know, uh, that uh, we need to look another way. No, no, no. The only person we've ever looked another way on is you for an idea of president. We look to people like this CEO who are willing to stand up. He's part of the White House Hispanic Prosperity Initiative. He's trying to do good, and he's doing it. He shouldn't be canceled for that. And yes, it is a vicious attack, but it's far worse than just what cancel culture wants you to believe it is. It's interesting though, because Yunanwe is putting his money where his mouth is. Literally, not only was he going to give away $2 million worth of food to food pantries to help uh, low-income folks who weren't able to put food on the table, but he's got a family business here. He's got 4,000 employees, all of whom are going to be affected if cancel, boycott, Goya becomes a real issue. Yeah, and it's not. It, it, the the Buy Goya campaign is going to be much, much larger. You take a look at people like Lynn manuel Miranda, who are very upset with Goya. Then you take a look at people like Jorge Masvidal, uh, the UFC fighter who's in a big fight tonight, saying we're not going to pay attention to the woke mob. And he links to a story from 2018 about how Goya gave a million pounds of food to people after Hurricane Maria. But the biggest story here is about Representative Ocasio-Cortez. What her cancel culture is is about is about control of thought. If you have a certain characteristic, like you're Hispanic, you have to think a certain mm. way. That's her belief. And she goes after anybody who doesn't fall in line. Well, I dare her to go after Jorge Masvidal. That would be <laughs> hilarious. But this CEO, this CEO isn't falling in line. And that's what people respect. We might disagree on a hundred other things politically, but he's allowed to stand up. He's allowed to have an opinion have and his business should never be destroyed before it. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black.